ein diweddar sofran a Frenhines Elizabeth Arail. We come together today following the passing of our late sovereign, Queen Elizabeth II. Whereas it has pleased Almighty God to call to his mercy our late sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth II, of blessed and glorious memory, by whose decease the crown of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is solely and rightfully come to the Prince, Charles Philip Arthur George. Hooray! Royal salute! Reason! Out! receive a motion of condolence. They'll be greeted by the equivalent of the speaker. The singer. And the, f <laughs> the equivalent of the speaker. <laughs> go on, have a go. Have a go, go on. Later. And the First <laughs> Minister. They'll meet uh, with other party leaders. They will hear the messages of condolence. And the King will reply, crucially, and we will keep you up to date with yeah. all of that. Let's just actually reflect. We, we, we're also learning that the Queen Consort has broken her toe. Um, so she's really grinning and bearing it and, and getting on with things uh, to actually climb these stairs and get in and out of cars and helicopters and so on uh, with a wave there towards the Crown. I, I think uh, that was ah. uh, an indication from the Daily Telegraph indicating... Um, that, uh, you know, that they are really uh, having to knuckle down to undertake these royal duties. And uh, Her Majesty broke her toe apparently before Her Majesty died, so has been struggling uh. through it for several days now. Do, do we call her Her Majesty, even as Queen Consort? Though? Absolutely. The, really? the, the, the wife of the Queen, of the, of the King, <laughs> is, is Her Majesty. She is Her Majesty the Queen. She's not, we, don't, we don't need to style her as Queen Consort any longer. She is Queen Camilla or the Queen. Do you think we'll start to stop using the consort bit of her title I think, as the I, I years think go on? At the, well, I think at the moment it's confusing to, to refer to the Queen when we're talking about well, exactly, Queen Elizabeth II. Yes, yeah. I think after the funeral is the time to actually move ah, on from that. Good point. Yeah, Dave, David Starkey was saying it's, it's when the, the Queen is interred in, in the chapel in, in Windsor. That is the end that, of, of that. That should be the end yeah, of it. Yeah. Um, we were talking about the crowds there, yeah. and, and Jeff was telling us about. Uh, the crowds spanning all of the generations. And that's important, isn't it? Because we were talking about the British Social Attitudes um, Survey um, and attitudes in the studio, actually, yesterday about the older you get, the more royalist you become. And we were, we were, we, we were wondering whether that just happens naturally or actually... Ah, can we hear can we this? Hear the fanfare?
through a large number of people gathered, the king is now approaching Llandaff Cathedral and the start of this service. Later on today, he will attend the Senate, the Welsh Parliament, and then go to Cardiff Castle to hold a reception for a number of people who've been gathering outside. But for now, the first call here to this great cathedral, just to the west of Cardiff City. The king will be received on arrival by the King's Lord of Tennant, Forsyth Glamorgan, who met him a little earlier, and also the Vice Lord of Tennant. Great West End of Llandaff Cathedral, where inside so many representing the nation of Wales wait for this service to begin. The King and Queen Consort will then be received by a line of dignitaries. Starting with the First Minister. Secretary of State for Wales also. High Sheriff of South Glamorgan, Lord Mayor of Cardiff, Chief Constable for South Wales Police, and then, of course, the Dean of this Cathedral of Llandaff. The King now meeting the Dean, who will present the interfaith leaders, including the moderator of the Free Church Council, the chair of the Muslim Council of Wales, the chief executive officer of CITON, Interfaith Council for Wales, the Evangelical Alliance. The Dean will now present the King to the Archbishop of Wales and the Bishop of Landoff. <laughs> right Reverend June Osborne is Bishop of Llandaff and the Most Reverend Andrew John is the Archbishop of Wales. <laughs> 